Hello everyone, this is the Professional Prepper. and Today I wanted to review PAM, and this stands for the Prepper Amateur Radio, and this is put on by Glenn Tate. So Glenn Tate, you may remember him from the author of 299 Days, and I think that this book got a lot of people into the Prepper world, and that kind of taught us a lot of things about how to be prepared, um, as well as just um, being more resilient in your own life. So you kind of build up different systems to take care of different things. And one of those is communications. So communications is, hey, what do you do when your cell phone doesn't work? Well, hey, I can turn on this guy and I can reach most of the people in my local city from this handheld radio as long as they got one just like this. So it's a great thing to have for communications backup. So what is PAM? PAM was developed by Glenn Tate to basically give you an overview of amateur radio as well as some other radio systems to basically let you know what are the basics about it, what equipment do I need, and how does it work. So, you know, most other guides kind of that I got back there for my um, amateur radio license uh, those guides right there are very detailed, and they go um, highly in-depth to things. And a lot of people don't have the amount of time that they really, really need to dive into those things to learn the material. This right here, I read this in 40 minutes. In 40 minutes, I you know, understood everything he was talking about and concurred that this does follow what amateur radio is about. And he also identifies some key equipment in here, which, you know, if you're going to research all this stuff on your own, you're going to find that you're going to spend hours and hours and hours trying to figure out what equipment is cost effective for me. What, what do I need to get to do just the basics? Um, what do I need to do to talk around the world? Um, what things do I need to be aware about? And so it goes through a bunch of different scenarios on how these um, radios would be useful, as well as kind of talking into the methods about what exactly is ham radio. So I think he did a great job in providing someone um, all the information that they need to know to get started or to at least have uh, communications checked off a little bit in, in a little box. Um, if they're going by a checklist to say, hey, I'm covered in case there's a disaster. I got the equipment I need. Uh, for my family to be safe, um, as well as, um, you know, the information to, to basically understand how it all works and how to teach my family members. So one thing good about amateur radio is that even though you may not be licensed, you can still listen for free. So you can turn this thing on and you can listen to all the local repeaters in your area and you can listen into the... Uh, emergency crews on their channels, but you, you cannot legally transmit unless you have a, a license. However, if it is an emergency, if someone's going to die, you are allowed to operate on ham radio frequencies. You are allowed to transmit. So that gives you, um, you know, hey, this is, this is a great backup for an emergency situation. And guess what? If the grid's out, if things have, uh, if S has hit the fan, Guess who's not going to come banging on your door? The um, the FCC isn't going to be sending troopers out to probably corral everyone up. So, anyways, I think that this is a great um, thing that he's done is put all this information together. Now, this product is fourteen ninety nine on his uh, website. I'll go ahead and put that in a link down below in the description. Uh, as well in the comments section. So you can go over to his website, check it out. He has a bunch of videos that uh, basically talk you through this. So if you don't have the time to sit here and even read it, you can throw on his videos that he has once you pay for the site. You can go through all the videos and watch watch them one by one sequentially. And you can do that even in the car if you wanted and learn on the go. So I think he did a, um, a fantastic job of kind of putting everything together. Um, one of the uh, interesting things is that, you know, he does go in here and recommends that if you really want to get into this and learn the material, which I believe you should, 
is that you go ahead and get your license. And so he kind of recommends some of the tools here and says, hey, you know, if you're going to start out, you might as well get a little $30 radio and start out like everyone else did and, and learn gradually as you go. So, you know, after you progress from something like this, then, hey, you may want to invest in a little bit higher power radio with a little bit better functions. And then after that, then you can start looking at base stations for your house. And so you can basically hook up extension cables to things and put up antennas on top of your house. And I got this one right here. It's kind of wired in. And this guy goes all the way up to the top of the roof line and pushes out on, a, on an antenna that I can reach uh, about 60 miles away, a repeater way out there. So pretty magnificent what we got here. So he kind of walks through all that stuff. Um, so if you are ever interested in how to provide communications for your family when the grid goes down or just to be more resilient or to learn a new hobby, uh, Glenn Tate does a great job of kind of getting you set up here. So if you guys have any questions on this or any more of my opinions, go ahead and post them down below. Uh, or you guys can jump on over to uh, his website that he has and you guys can check things out on there for, for your own selves. And, um, and you guys pick it up and purchase it. Uh, so as always, guys, take care of yourself and uh, take care of each other.